So for me, it was always going, it was kind of like going to the unknown and trying to absorb everything that was happening around me in with the river, with the plastic, with the people, understanding the problem, talking to everyone, and then putting all the pieces of the puzzle together in the scientific mind, and then coming back to Rotterdam with the recommendation. Okay, what is next? This is what I saw. Uh, this is what we collect. This is this is kind of the research setup that we're gonna because we need we need more information about this specific area or that specific area. So it was always new. Every time I went to a new river, oh my god, this is different than the other one. And uh, yeah, Jamaica is not the same as Dominican Republic. First thing we needed to know to support the Rotterdam team on the on the project was like, okay, how much plastic are we seeing in this river and how what is what is the pattern, how much is being emitted, and uh, how do we know what is the best place or the best location within this river that we can intercept. And well, okay, so these are all the variables that we need to take into consideration. And at the time, we were discovering yeah, everything and trying to find the correlations and uh, how things work. Looking back, yeah, it wasn't always an adventure. I mean, I was I just looking at you, it reminded me, when we were in the Dominican Republic, first time I saw that river, I was like, oh my God, we, so there's a lot of water hyacinths here and they're all entangled with the, yeah, the plastic. And uh, yeah, but how does, the, how does it work with these vegetations and uh, how, when, why, why do they grow? Where do they come from? And then how they're being emitted? Do they follow seasonality? So there was always like a question and after a question and after a question and we're trying to find the answers. That I remember, there's like okay, I mean, let's let's set up a sampling campaign, and we need to monitor this for like a few months at least to understand a bit better the behavior. And then we went sampling those water hyacinths in the in the bridge. And it was uh, was the the floating bridge, the floating bridge, yeah. almost at the river mouth. And I remember when we were standing at the bridge, and the bridge opened at the time, and it was with the, I was uh, with a troll. Uh, on my hands and two students from the university and the bridge was moving and we were there trying to use sample water hyacinths and you flying a drone kid was like oh my god what what is going on and well I love it I love that because I, I am I'm curious I'm always curious about I like to understand things and I like to see things and connect the dots and uh, this is part of that and it's part of that and in the, in the end yeah and in the end then I'll make the put all the pieces together